So, um, of course, to come back to your question, if it is um, possible to teach becoming a successful entrepreneur. Um, so I wouldn't say that there is any guarantee. Of course, a business idea can always fail due to any circumstances, right? So there isn't a guarantee. But I would definitely say that being in a dedicated track and program um, could increase the likelihood of succeeding as an entrepreneur. My name is Irene and I'm one of the two founders of Munich-based edtech startup Edurino. And at Edurino we have the mission to make digital education tangible. So our first product is a hybrid learning app um, where children can unlock learning worlds with haptic figurines and an ergonomic stylus. And I myself studied at HHL from 2016 to 18. So first of all, I believe that I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur and that was also one of the reasons why I chose to go to HHL in the first place. And then um, throughout my studies at uh, HHL, I had the possibility to, to start a small startup um, even here on campus during one of the entrepreneurship courses. And then after um, graduating from HHL, I went on to go to um, BCG, to a strategy consulting firm, but I um, quickly realized that I wanted to go into entrepreneurship again and um, I also met my co-founder at BCG. And then how we um, came up with um, founding in the, in the educational space, um, I think I believe that it's always been kind of a part of me that I was very active in the educational space on a voluntary basis. So it started when I was still in school, I did a lot of tutoring, then throughout university I was in different initiatives and then also at BCG my co-founder and I were active at the largest two um, educational initiatives. And um, but we never really thought that there is a space for us to found a business in this area. But then when COVID started, um, I remember that my, my mother who works in a primary school called me and told me that the primary school teacher she's working with is now bringing all materials to all, um, all children by bike. And I was like, okay, that can't be the situation in Germany. And then we, we just started in a, in a very open approach to just talk to as many people as possible to really understand the space because we realized um, how huge this gap in Germany is and how far Germany is also behind in terms of digital education. And, um, and that's, that was also when we realized that we want to start very early with the children, so already in kindergarten age, because nowadays children grow, grow up with the reality of digital media, right, two, three years old can use tablet smartphones very intuitively already and therefore we made it to our mission to to create a safe um, environment for the children to teach them how to use digital media in a in a safe very playful way and therefore we started at Reno. Yeah, so where do we stand with Edurino today? We launched our first product end of last year and we're now launching new products every couple of months, so new learning worlds for children. So therefore, one of the big goals for us um, this year is to launch more learning worlds, more products for children to, um, to get closer to the step to provide a holistic learning curriculum with um, safe digital learning for children. And um, also one big step Step for us is that we are planning our retail launch this year so um, that we are also going to be available in retail stores which is uh, something completely new and different for of course for all of us and um, on the company side um, our big goal this year is to grow the company so we plan to triple our team this year so that of course has um, a lot of um, new challenges for us but also it's amazing because we're able to build more products. Yeah, so um, I think we can differentiate between a very personal driver and then also a huge driver for us is the idea of Edurino, of course. So I think on a personal level, both my co-founder Francisca and I, uh, we've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. So we always thought that that is a very um, like, likely path for both of us. And therefore, it was a huge motivation to be able to wake up every morning and just do something where we're extremely passionate about and where we have the possibility to solve a real problem, but also create a company around that. And on the other hand side now with the business, um, I think then ultimately it was the idea for Edurino that really caught us and that really made us 
do this step, take the step, say, okay, um, in the middle of the pandemic, we're now taking the step and leave a well-paid job and start our own business because we thought um, how large the need really is in the market for good educational solutions in the digital space. And therefore, Adorino, of course, was also part of um, having the courage to leave the job. I think when, when thinking back now to my time at HHL, what helped the most are probably in three areas. So the first area is really the skill set, then the second thing is the network, and the third thing is the, the mindset that is here at HHL very present. So the skill set, um, when I think back, I had very strong courses in the entrepreneurship space, problem solving, a course where we started an own um, business on our own, e even um, during the studies, but then also um, courses such as social entrepreneurship, um, ethics, which also now helps help us throughout the journey a lot. These were all courses where I had the feeling that we really got a good skill set to be able to tackle any problems out there. The second thing, network, something that can't be underestimated at HSL. It's a really strong network. So whenever you see someone who was at HSL, there's a direct connection. You can directly ask questions, talk to each other. So I feel like the, the network effect is extremely strong. And for us, for example, at Edorino, it also helped us that after we founded Edorino, we were also able to go to HSL digital space. Um, and then if you stay in Leipzig, for example, you could also go to SpinLab even afterwards. So you feel like as an entrepreneur, you are very well um, surrounded by, by a network and by a help network in that sense as well. And then the third thing, um, the mindset, it's something that I always felt was extremely present here at HHL. So coming in contact with other founders, having Accelerate, the entrepreneurship conference, but also having so many other people around you that just encourage you to say yes, because sometimes that's the small difference between founding a company and not founding a company, it's just having the courage to say yes and just to do it at a certain stage and therefore I also feel that that helped a lot to have this inspiring um, mindset here present at HHL. So first of all, I think it's amazing that HHL starts an entrepreneurship track because I think that um, that has always been something that was very present for me here. So therefore having a dedicated track for that um, is in my opinion, amazing. So um, of course, to come back to your question, if it is um, possible to teach becoming a successful entrepreneur. And um, so I wouldn't say that there is any guarantee. Of course, a business idea can always fail due to any circumstances, right? So there isn't a guarantee, but I would definitely say that being an a dedicated track and program um, could increase the likelihood of succeeding as an entrepreneur. So when I think back at my time at HHL and um, I also chose a lot of entrepreneurship courses here, for example, I would definitely say that some of them helped me throughout my journey significantly. So for example, having courses in entrepreneurship, in uh, problem solving, so really to understand how I can tackle a large problem, which to be honest, it's, uh, it's very present in a daily uh, work of an entrepreneur, of course, because there are so many things that I've never done before, right? So it always seems like a huge problem in front of you and then you have to break it down and solve individual pieces of it. So that was something where HHL helped, but also courses like um, social entrepreneurship, um, which opened up this entire possibility of having a, a double bottom line of uh, financial success, but also social success. Um, courses such as ethics that really helped how to think about um, um, different different problems um, and then I mean coming back to to the to the real skill set I mean we also had the course um, business plan where we were able to start even our small business here at HHL and uh, that was amazing for me to to learn and to maybe make first mistakes even throughout my studies and not having to do them later on um, throughout the real entrepreneurship journey so that definitely helped and another part where I would say that HHL also um, increased the likelihood is this network so providing um, a network of people that you can ask that you can contact so maybe one story also from Edorino, the very first business angel that I contacted um, for our angel financing round was from the HHL network. And um, there you always have the feeling that you can talk to the people, you get good advice, they are willing to help you. So this is um, something amazing that HHL offers. I think there are three main advice that I would give to new founders. The first one is 
believe in yourself. I mean, ultimately, we are all people, we all started small. So um, I would say just, just believe in yourself and just do it. If you have a good idea, if you feel like it's the right path for you, just have the courage to do it. The second thing I would always say is build your network, build mentors around you. So talk to people and um, ask for help. Something also that we've really learned throughout the journey is how willing to help everyone actually is right so therefore just use that like build this strong network opportunity around yourself and the third thing um, that I would also advise is really think what is the worst thing that could happen because I feel like nowadays we're in a very good position because actually even if you failed a business you didn't really lose anything I mean you could always go back to a job you always learned like things that you would never have learned in any other setting and so much in such a short amount of time and therefore I think this also helps like what is the worst thing that can happen because ultimately you could always go back so therefore um, I would always say that and then of course uh, just just do it because we really need more entrepreneurs in, in Germany so um, therefore I would always encourage it to do this business decision.